to you all to pay your sincere attention to this program and don't unmute or on your video recording on your video unnecessarily i want your attentive attention and participation to make this program as a milestone of the life by gaining some skill and some knowledge from the experience and lot of knowledge from our guest lecturer professor dipali kamthania madam it's humble request that please deliver your lecture and make us make all of us benefited from that ma'am this forum is yours now thank you thank you ma'am ma'am uh, ma'am is humble request that uh, please unmute your thank you i hope thank i am on of want... course ma'am yes okay good morning everyone good morning to all the students the uh, thank you to the faculty members the um, management of the tmu and jesser for inviting me to or for giving me the opportunity to deliver a talk on process prototype design and development uh, okay before i go into the talk i would just like to bring few points to your notice and then we will be moving to the details you know as you all are aware that our central government has introduced new educational policy since uh, 2020 and this educational policy give more emphasis on skill development and entrepreneurship rather than just talking about the bookish bookish kind of a knowledge and it is the aim of nep that after receiving the training and education for a span of 3 to 5 years the person should have the appropriate uh, knowledge and the skill set so that he can generate employment not only for himself but also for others so what i'm trying to put here across you that in view of this entrepreneurship is something that is very important for today's topic of prototyping as this act as a bridge or between a link between the innovative and doing business so when you say that there is a workshop on uh, prototype design and development so what i say here entrepreneurship has a lot to do with that because it is going to give a link or a bridge between the innovative business idea and doing the business okay so can any one of you tell me what do you understand by innovation anyone what do you understand by the innovation so can they unmute you then sir okay let me start with that so when i say innovation so what i am trying to say here innovation means something new something which is not existing so now is it every time that is something new no it may be the same type of product or it may be a completely new product so when i say a team same product it means now what we are trying to do to that product we are trying to modify or according to the customer requirement or existing problem we are trying to do something new to the existing product and this is also comes under your innovation so not always a completely new product but something which you have try to include looking at the current customer requirement is also the innovation so now how do we innovate a new product so what we have to do to innovate a product we have to do some kind of surveys or we have to do the requirement analysis so that the solution of the same could be translated in form of a product which could be offered to the customer so what we are trying to say that in order to have 
something innovate, what we need to do, we need to analyze the current situation, look for the opportunities in that, and then based on the surveys, or we need to translate that thing into the product and it can finally be offered to the customer. Now, next to that, what we try to include here is, let's, let us have a look at this first of the stock and then Okay. So the first point that I was going to cover, cover here was something which was related to entrepreneurships. So it means in any of the product prototype design, something the main thing that comes into picture is something your entrepreneurship, looking for the opportunities, making use of that opportunities. And then gradually we will try to move towards the prototyping, type of prototyping, and then what kind of prototypes or the product had come from the prototyping into the medical domain. Okay. So this is what I was trying to say that entrepreneurship has something to do with the, yeah, what's say the prototyping or launch of a new product in the market. So now when you say that uh, with the help of surveys, you say you have analyzed and then finally you are trying to convert that idea into the pro uh, product. Now design, now to design and produce that product, we need to go through the systematic approach of translating the requirement into first the design, then you have to go for the prototype, and then the terms which we have a talk today comes the prototype. So it is a basically a systematic process. Directly, we cannot jump to something like a prototype. We first understand the product. We need to understand the design process. And then based on that design process, we say we have something like the product. So when we see the prototype plays an important role basically to bridge the gap between the requirement and the final product here. See, a lot of opportunities, they exist in the market. And these opportunities, like it's the entrepreneur mind or the person who will continuously have an eye to it. Let's say an example here. See, uh, there are a lot of opportunities in the market because of the existing problems or the new requirement that is coming. See, when there was pandemic or still we are facing uh, uh, a part of it. So we in India were not manufacturing PPE kit, mask, sanitizer, face shield, testing kits in the bulk quantity. There was requirement for all these products. And then the groups, companies like Reliance, Adani, Bharat Tech, who were eyeing the opportunity, they came forward to develop the PPE kit, testing kits, vaccine, and other products. So it is the entrepreneur's mind that came forward looking at the opportunity or the customer requirement in the market. Initially, then what was done, the samples or the prototype of these products were made and the copies of the same were submitted for certifying and regulatory authorities to approve them. And then these were basically distributed to uh, the sample customer for the analysis. And finally, you can see that uh, now we have ample of these products. So if we would have not come forward, then we there the idea would have not come into the uh, product form here. Now, at the same time, if you see the simultaneously, the government of India has improved the ecosystem of the startup and the ease of doing business is encouraged by it. Due to this, all these efforts, it has become easy to start up, make, uh, or to have your own startup and Finances for a startup after running or the uh, to run the basically the affairs of the new company. I hope you must be aware that MSME, TBI, NSTDB, DST, they all are giving the funds. So when you say uh, we, uh, as a student, how should we go about the prototype, which is a high fidelity prototype? You can collaborate with these organizations, as I have mentioned, TBI, MSME. DSTs. So for your for that, your university has to 
uh, tie up with them and then they will help the students with their funds to whatever the idea they have in their mind and to come up uh, with their own startup. And a lot of efforts are being put in the direction of Atmanirbhar Bharat. So a lot of support is being done. IIC is also one of the such initiatives towards that. And you must have seen that uh, your university must be now and then conducting uh, different talks which are related to the IICs. So, and as a result of all these supports pushing towards the Atmanirbhar Bharat, you can see there are more than 100 unicorn companies in year 2022. I hope you all understand what do I mean by unicorn. A company which is having a more than of 1 billion turnover in a year. And I hope you will be able to relate uh, them if I name a few like PhonePay, Paytm, Zomato, Upgrade. Then you have Lenskart, Nika. So you can understand a lot of support is being were done by the government to uh, help you with your startup. So prototype basically before we get uh, go detail into that. So basically prototype is an initial idea into the product. So at far most what is important? The idea is important. And idea is now we are not trying to talk about the common kind of idea. Now what we are trying to put forward here is something that is out of box thinking. So you need to understand a particular situation. Don't just leave it or ignore it. You have to look for the solution of it. And the solution should be viable. It should be such that it brings some kind of contribution to the society. And then we say what this idea need to be turned idea into a product form. You need to do that with the help of what? With the help of your prototype. And this prototype is actually useful in terms of designing, testing your designs, then adaptability to the customer and whether it is giving you the final count of output or not. So with this, let's, let's first try to understand what do I mean by a product? Here. So product is something which, or it is a substance that is refined for the sale. Now these products, they could be tangible or it could be your intangible. Now, what do I mean by tangible or intangible? Tangible is something which I can touch, right? Now, some of the example of this is you can see all these products are something which you can touch, but something like the insurance tech service or some kind of services or some kind of software, these are something which are intangible in nature, but the innovation or the prototype or mechanism development can done even in these things. And at many a times offered that a product, it becomes the face of the company. Now, for example, we all know about Nestle. Maybe some of you are not much aware about the other products. But I hope, but I hope everyone knows Maggie. So what I'm trying to say, many times the product becomes so popular that it becomes the face of the company. Now, another thing that I would like to put across here is, you know, when you say you have an idea, the manufacturer or is not going to buy an idea. What you need to have, you need to develop a product or you need to develop a prototype so that the person becomes or the organization, they become ready. So what we are trying to say, so in order to make your thing celebrate or you make your idea celebrate, what is required, you need to have a product or a mechanism and where your prototype is a major product. Now, in order to have a product, you just cannot randomly have a product. You have an idea, that idea needs to be put in a product or some kind of a drawing has to be there so that one is able to understand the functionality or the working of whatever product or object you are proposing. Right? Sorry. So this is need to solve human problems. It needs to give some kind of division or it needs to be born 
and it need to keep iterating. It means it's not just once that you have designed something, and after that you are simply sit back. You have to continuously reiterate it. Look for the. You need to plan it before the production. You need to have the feedback on it, and then you say finally what you will come up. You will come up with the prototype or the proof of concept. Here. Excuse me, ma'am. Now, when you talk design, design could be in many forms. It could be graphic design. It could be your interaction design, landscape, visual. So many type of designing could be there, which could be serving to the benefit of the society in any form. And when this particular things has to go for the mass production, right? So what we say, we are trying to talk about the industrial design. So you develop Something. a system for mass production, which will create the higher value functionality in terms of appearance, both for the manufacturer and customer. See, you have an idea. That idea will directly not go towards the industrial design. In between what we have, in between, we have something like the prototypes. And then we have the proof of concept. And then finally, we say what we have, we have the final product available based on the industrial design. So before that, when we have a design, so any of the product, this design is applicable to any domain, whenever our design is there, these things need to be kept in mind. The utility, safety, peculiarity, marketing strategy, then company motive. Now, what do I mean by that? Let's come to the next slide. See, now when you talk about any time you are designing anything, design objectives should always be kept while designing any kind of a product there. And that product should be such that it is useful to the customer and it is able to fulfill their requirement when any of the customer purchase it. So what we are trying to say uses is something very important for our product and it should also be safe. Now, you can see just the two uh, pics that are shown to you. You can see there's a one single wheel within that a person is trying to drive it. Another one, I hardly imagine how this person is able to balance it. So this is something the design here is definitely unique. It is definitely a product but this product is not very much uh, in the utility, right? So whenever anything is designed, it should, it should not just be unique, right? Uh, something always looking different, but it should serve the utility and it should have the higher utility more than demand, meaning they can command the higher price, right? So it should something now, uh, okay, let's, uh, let's have a look at the Ola scooter that you are having. So many of you must have heard the news that these Ola scooters, they are catching fire, right? So it was new, but there was safety problem that was existing. So whenever you make any of the design, safety is also something that is very important. Another safety constraint you can see from this figure. So these days, what we are having, we are having the concept of the high rise building, right? And uh, many of us are interested in having the, uh, uh, pots or the flowers at our home. And if in the high rise building you try to keep your pots like this, then there are chances of accident. Um, this, uh, this thing may follow. So uh, the person came up with a new design, right? A new innovative kind of a concept of putting the pots on the railing, which is not only safe, but also uh, it is durable kind of a product is here. So in design, uh, so what that's what I said initially. It is not always something new, but it is something, the kind of thing that are existing, but a new kind of design given. To it. Let us have a look in terms of another design objective. Let's see the peculiarity. I hope we all use this, right? We understand this is nothing but a simple tool which will help us uh, to take the pins out of our paper. Now, our innovation was done to it, or we can say the re-engineering of the product was done. The same product here, given a different kind of look and if uh, or maybe some other kind of uh, the, let's say the fancy kind of look is given to it 
And if I am able to have this product on almost in the same cost, then I think most of us would like to have something of this type rather than having this simple tool. So all these things are what? So these kind of startups could also be there or this kind of innovation could also be there. Let's, let's try to talk more about it. Now, what we are trying to say, we are trying to talk about the uh, next kind of concept. Uh, let's say you have a product and we say in a product, you can have tangible or intangible attributes, right? So a lot of we all are traveling or we all need to have the water bottles. And if you see in the markets, there are N number of water bottles that are coming up, right? So uh, previously also we used to have the water bottles, which was just a plastic bottle. Then there was innovation. You started having the different, better quality plastic materials. Further innovation, we have something like the glass bottle. Then we have something like uh, the steel bottles. And every time what we are trying to say, something conventional kind of things were there, trendy kind of things, a lot of colors are there. So initially when we just have a go to the place and we want to pick up a water bottle, something which is very bright in colors, having a good appearance, easy to carry, we'll try to pick up that bottle. So what we are trying to, okay. So these are what some kind of tangible, intangible attributes. For how much time that bottle is able to keep uh, the water cold or hot, whatever. So uh, suppose I just need that bottle for one hour. So I can go for, I need to travel for one hour. So I'll try to just have a bottle which is having the capacity of one liter. And then it is able to hold that uh, water hot or cold for one hour. But someone has to have a long travel. Then you will try to have a bottle which can have uh, the or retention of the hold or hot or cold for 24 hours. So what we are trying to say, the similar product in terms of functionality, in terms of material, in terms of utility, according to the current need of the market, it is getting innovative, right? So what we are doing, we are trying every time what we are doing, we are trying to work on the design part. Now, currently the new kind of water bottles that are uh, in the market, they have been aligned with the mobile apps, right? So they are having the facility that uh, they will just tell you for how, what is the water content in your uh, uh, level in your body, right? They can just raise the alarms for the infuse, some kind you want to infuse or some kind of medicine that you have put in the bottle. So all these are what? According to the customer requirement or the need of the market, you are trying to innovate on the same product in terms of technology, in terms of material, in terms of uh, the different look and feel. I hope I am able to convey the things to you. In case any one of you want to ask anything, you are welcome. Okay, now next what we have, next we have the ergonomics, right? So what we have is the ergonomics part. Ergonomics basically talk about the arrangement of an equipment or anything which will facilitate or will become the things will become convenient to the end user, right? Or the person. Let us have a look at these two diagrams. A person is trying to work on the laptop and you can see how much effort he has to do to do the work. So a uh, new kind of all which is which we already just to analogy I'm trying to show you this so you can see a comfortable chair with the backrest headrest and the proper alignment for the health so you can see how comfortably a person can do the work another example you can see here it's the apple ipod right so just in the apple ipod with the help of just your thumb you can just keep on uh, playing different songs and this now these kind of features they are now uh, inbuilt into our uh, mobile phone. So you can just see how convenient the things are being made. So now what the point I'm trying to put across you is anytime any of the product is designed, ergonomic should be kept in mind throughout the design process. And what is ergonomic? Ergonomic is basically the ease of use for the end user. Another example for the ease of use is this keyboard. Now, if you look at this keyboard, 
now the persons who are working for long hours 8 to 10 hours you can just imagine how much pain this keyboard will be giving to their wrist so we have a ergonomic keyboard right so which is uh, which will just uh, be a great relief to the persons who are working for the long hours on the computer so uh, whenever any of the product is designed the statistical data should be collected from the customers and according to that the new versions of the product should be designed and again keeping in mind what new what is already existing in the market now again this is for the ergonomic part i am trying to talk see consider which type of ergonomic applies to your product what are the common customer problems your team should also be able to understand that ergonomics is something very important okay just let us have a look at this water bottle right अगर इस वाटर बॉटल की शेप कुछ इस तरह से है कि इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू टू होल्ड सो इट इज नॉट अ गुड डिजाइन डिजाइन शुड बी सर्च वी ऑल अंडरस्टैंड नीड दैट वाटर बॉटल नीड टू बी होल्ड वी नीड टू ड्रिंक विद इट सो इट शुड हैव अ गुड ग्रिप देन इट्स अ बिग बॉटल 5 लीटर्स की बोतल अगर आपको कैरी करनी है और जो 1 लीटर की बोतल की तरह अगर उस पे फैसिलिटी है आई होप नन ऑफ अस विल फाइंड इट पर एक तो 100 ग्राम व्हाट वी हैव वी हैव समथिंग लाइक अ हैंडल and with the help of it it becomes like how we have to hold a 5 liter bottle is it okay should i continue you are able to understand what is being told to you ali bhai saab am i all kya le raha hai uncle ji bas suno to sahi bas sun to lo तो जा रहा है हेलो मैम मैम कैन यू हियर मी मैम या आई कैन हियर हेलो मैम यस आई एम आई ऑडिबल टू यू मैम कैन यू गिव मी को होस्ट मैम इट्स लिटिल प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज़ ऑफ नेट यू बिकम होस्ट मैम कैन यू मेक मी अ
Hello, ma'am. Sorry for the inconvenience. Hello, am I? Hello. Yes, ma'am, you are audible. Can you hear me, ma'am? Is it clear now? Should I start, sir? Yes, ma'am, you can, ma'am. Okay, so, so we were talking about the ergonomics part and uh, what I was trying to tell you, ergonomic is something which should be very well kept in mind throughout the design process. So right now what we were discussing, we were discussing the attributes. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So what we were discussing, we were discussing the things which should be kept in mind when we are going for any of the design process. Another thing that is very important is alignment to the market fit. So uh, what we are trying to say here when we are trying to talk about the alignment, see, there is a design team and we have something like the marketing team. So design team should always work in sync with the marketing team for the prototype development so that when the product is in the market, the product as well as the marketing team very well fit into it, right? Now, timing of a product along with the cost is something very important. As you all have heard about the Google Glass. See, Google Glass was one of the product which came into the market. But in year 2015, this product was uh, turned down because it uh, the timing, it has a lot of capability, but the price and along with that, the timing in which it came into the market was not right. Similarly, the right kind of marketing is also very important, right? So the aspirations are really important. <laughs> Nano car, if it would have been uh, done with the name of the cute car rather than giving it something like Laktakia, I think it would have been more successful than uh, what uh, the things uh, turn out to be. Okay. So, next thing in design is the USP. USP is nothing but it is the unique selling proportion. And the unique selling proportion, it could be the design of the product or it could be some kind of a feature as we can see in some of the uh, pictures that are shown to you here. And uh, definitely if uh, one would ask you the kind of design, the this one and this have, the one would like to go for these kind of the uh, products. So the USB for these products along with their engine is also the design. So whenever you make any product, uh, you need to talk about the unique selling price because there are so many competitive products which already exist in the market. So market has to, these, uh, as I said, the design team will work in sync so that the two they line up and you are able to convert your product into the, or you can say the prototype into the finished product before making it actively arranged in the market. So we say it is a two-phase development where the first part is all digital. So when we say that we have an idea, that idea, what we do, that idea we change into the uh, uh, prototype. We don't say that directly we will have a product. So what we will say, we have a design. We will have an idea. That idea, we will translate it into the design. And that design, what we will do directly, we will not have a product. Then what we will have? We will have some kind of maybe the drawing by a heart. We will, have, we will have a drawing in something like with the help of the cats. Or... Should I continue? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Should I continue? Am I on? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes. Okay. So your uh, whatever product is there, you have to, for the product, you should always identify the audience. 
then you should identify the desired outcome of the prototype identify the business goal and then you need to identify the priorities in that so we talk about the functionality then we talk about the uh, whatever the beauty and the features of the product so your design first thing what we said you first we said you need to have an idea now in no one is going to buy your idea so what is required you need to have some kind of prototype we directly cannot go prototype so what is required? we need to have a design in, when we go for the design what we need to keep in mind you need to keep in mind the utility peculiarity features distinguishing features the unique proportion alignment with the market and with that you say you will go for a design so basically the step that you follow in any of the design phase it is you need to analyze the situation you have to identify a problem then you have to look for a solution you have to create a concept then you have to create a prototype then you say you test your prototype you choose the product and a process material then after that what you need to do once it is ready it is not the final prototype that you have you again need to optimize the product that you have done you need to collect the customer feedback and then only the thing is finally introduced into your market so the design process basically say you need to empathize you need to define you need to ideate have a prototype test it and then again after testing it whatever feedbacks are there or whatever problem you are facing maybe in terms of functionality maybe in terms of the material all these things need to be worked upon and then we say we have something like a product now when we say that you have to have an idea let's say analyze the situation now here we can think about uh, something okay there are a uh, lot of people who are diabetic right and there was a requirement to have a monitoring something like a device which can help us in the instantly identifying the sugar level of a person so if previously what you have what need to be done a person has to do the fasting then a person has to go to the lab then uh, the testing was done and uh, then after hours or maybe in the evening the report needs to be collected so the someone who identified analyzed the situation in the market analyzed the situation and then what they did they have an instrument or the, the uh, basically what i said entrepreneurship initially they eyed the market and based on they came up with an instrument which can easily have the blood sample and just give you the results within the second so the requirement of the customer for the instrument was what it was business idea which was turned into the prototype and they have a prototype for the glucose right so initially you saw this glucose was developed there was some kind of a prototype it was just made out of sensors or the arduino boards and then finally what you say some kind of circuitry which was just helping you out initially it was not just uh, some the aqua check uh, kind of a product that you have so a prototype was developed and if you see maybe in the end i have shown some prototypes here also uh, let's see if i could see okay this was for the bp meter okay so initially if you see this is what i was trying to tell you the initially this prototype was just developed on the arduino boards right and then the prototype was made for the distribution sample copies to the customer and then finally you have some product like the equoject so you don't have to say that initially how we have to come up just with this product similarly many other entrepreneur brain came up and they came up with the prototype for your bp meter glucometer and even the devices which help in understanding the sugar level now let's try to go detail into the prototype part i hope i am able to convey something to you so let's talk about the basics of prototype yes is there any 
any one of you is trying to ask anything or go ahead no no uh, no they are saying thank you ma'am uh, we all are standing this very clearly pardon sir they are saying that uh, he is understanding this okay. very clearly so thank you ma'am okay thank you sir thank you okay so let's talk about the basics of prototype so what is first thing that is required you need to have an idea no one going to buy an idea so what we need to do we have to have a rough representation of the idea we have to consider all the design aspect in it we have to create a prototype and just one prototype is not done then what we need to do we need to redefine the prototype to its perfection so basically prototyping is do what it is an experimental process where design team implement an idea into a tangible form from paper to digital so now prototype we could have something like the cad kind of tools can be used or we can have something uh, 3d kind of printing which can help us in the prototyping so with prototype it is the uh, you can convey your idea the models can be released and you very well have what actually you are trying to tell to a person now why we need a prototype we can say with the help of that you can adjust the design color texture then you can also understand how well it is accepted in the market what is the durability of the product any kind of existing product you can resolve the conflicts for that right so prototyping not only just have help us having the product but it also helping us to work on the different components that are there for the product so what we say you have an idea you design it you have a prototype right you have a prototype you evaluate that prototype right if it is fine we'll go for the product but generally it does not happen like that a single prototype never solve the purpose so again based on the feedback we again need to redesign the prototype and then finally we are trying to move towards the final product so identify the you know in order to do that what we have to identify the initial requirements develop the system use it and then finally the product we have different type of prototyping right you can have rapid prototyping evolutionary prototyping or we can say we can have incremental or extreme right we also talk in terms of high and low fidelity so what do i mean by that uh, rapid prototyping we are trying to say it is the three dimensional approach here you know a product is created it is tested it is optimized jaise characteristic jaise uska साइज है शेप है ड्यूरेबिलिटी है तो जनरली हम क्या करते हैं प्रोडक्ट और इसमें हम क्या करते हैं वैलिडेट द प्रोडक्ट एंड जनरली इट इज अ थ्रो अवे काइंड ऑफ प्रोटोटाइपिंग तो जरूरी नहीं है कि जो मटीरियल जो आपने प्रोटोटाइप में यूज करा था द सेम मटीरियल और द सेम काइंड ऑफ कलर आर रिटेन इन दी Uh, final product that you have now another approach that you have is evolutionary kind of prototyping so in this you combine this with the incremental and extreme model so what do i mean by that koi aapne first ek design kara system aapne koi bhi approach design usko fir aap kya karte ho independent modules pe aap usko split karte ho har module ko aap test karte ho jahan jahan requirement hai aap kya karte ho you try to uh, improvise your product here. नेक्स्ट वॉट वी हैव वी हैव दी एक्सट्रीम काइंड ऑफ प्रोटोटाइप तो यहां पर आपका क्या है दी स्टोरी बोर्ड या आप क्या करते हो क्लियरली कोई एक एप्लीकेशन का फ्लो बनाते हो उसमें आप रूल्स सेट करते हो जो भी आपके एंड यूजर और कस्टमर के रिक्वायरमेंट के हिसाब से यू ट्राई टू डेवलप अ मॉडल फॉर दैट नाउ वेन वी आर ट्राइंग टू डू दीज काइंड ऑफ प्रोटोटाइपिंग इट कुड बी इन टर्म्स ऑफ हाई और लो फिडेलिटी so let us first talk about the low fidelity low fidelity se kya matlab hai low fidelity se yahan ye matlab hai ki koi bhi aapne product banaya usko aap immediately like as an student you say we don't have that much of amount that we will just go towards uh, some beta or alpha 
kind of prototype. So what you will do, maybe just with the help of the cardboard, maybe with the help of 3D printing, maybe with the help of sketches, maybe with the hand of, help of the paper prototyping, uh, land, landscape paging. So you can have your prototype. So this type of prototype is what? This is the low fidelity, which is involving less cost, but some kind of a model is there because we are saying just listening to our idea, no one is going to invest in us. So as students will go towards the low fidelity kind of things, if you are a medical student, you can have some kind of a Arduino or the Raspberry Pi kind of a thing. You can develop your products there. And then finally, when you have it to a stage, your organ or university can tie up with MSME or they can fund you, DST, so many agencies, as I told you in the beginning. And then you can have something like the high fidelity where the cost factor is there. You can go for the faster and cheaper kind of the product here rather than just going for the high end product, the final kind of product here. So this is the all I was trying to talk for the low fidelity that storyboards, paper prototypes, software, 3D kind of printing and so on. So the medical device prototyping, now I'll try to be specific to your kind of prototyping, which is being followed. Though those prototyping, they also use a part of your low fidelity and the rapid kind of prototyping. So prototype, we have already said that prototype will help us in selling our ideas. Uh, for that, what is important? We need to be very clear with the requirement of the design, uh, requirement of any of the device at different stages, right? So these requirements will include the feel in user hand, right? The conductivity of the material, the type of switches that it is involving. Uh, and along with that, we also look for the cost effective. Agar koi bhi cheez aapko jo ki hai, and if you are able to have it uh, the same kind of uh, functionality within 5,000 with good accuracy, definitely one will like to go towards that product. Right? So based for that, we have the three or four kind of prototyping. The first one here is the, uh, the proof of concept. The first one here is your Proof of concept. The proof of concept may aap kya baat kar rahe ho? Uh, the concept is unreliable. It is a you have an idea. Ab aapko usko kya karna hai? Medical device aapki look and feel kaisi hogi. So from the proof, from the scratch, you are trying to talk about a product or you are trying to talk about the high-end concept. So in this, you say you have alpha prototype. Now, alpha prototype kya hai aapka? Alpha prototype kya hai? Basically, they are non-functional. And these test the dimension of the product or design. And design dimension must match the user intent of the device. This a, basically, this prototype, it evaluates the ease of use of the product that it will be offering to the end user. So alpha prototype pe basically aap kya ke rahe ye ek non-functional kind of a functionality ke liye hai. Aur ye basically jo bhi aap device kar rahe ho, how convenient it will be for the user you are trying to talk in this term. And these prototype are typically 3D printed, right? Because they are non-functional and they are typically cheaper. And you can quickly have, uh, uh, let's say, kahi aapko kisi conference ya kisi usme display karna hai. So you can have the alpha prototype. Next one is what? Beta prototype. A beta prototype, basically, ye kya kar rahe hai? these are a step ahead of your, the first, that is the beta. Isme kya kar rahe ho aap? Ki jo bhi aap uske component hai, uski kya sturdiness hai? Whether uh, you are able to evaluate, the manufacturer is able to evaluate the functionality. Here in this stretch, you are trying to talk about the verification and validation of the product that you have. Then the next one you have is the pilot prototyping. Pilot prototyping, mein aap kya kar rahe ho? these are necessary for the soft launch or you can say for the clinical trials. They are similar to the final product, but still they will require the finishing part. So, you have to have the low fidelity uh, prototype, 
in the low fidelity after that low fidelity you will be moving towards the high fidelity where it will be involving more cost then you will start with the alpha beta and your pilot prototyping moving towards the final products or the products uh, that is completely understandable in terms of your software launcher so this is the stages that i was trying to show it was for this some product which was the alpha state and the final state and then you have the final products that is available here. so when you talk about the prototype or you say you are trying to, it's not only the prototype it is right from the ideation to the design from design to the prototype proto design is involving different attributes then prototype involving different type of prototyping and then finally the final products so when you have any of the device see we already said idea cannot sell without a prototype so when i have a prototype what i have i have the room for modification suppose let's suppose you are making a competitive product for a better acceptance one way is the theoretically you compare your design and another one hold a visual design which is having some kind of a 3d model so which one will be easy or which one will give you the better clarity definitely the one which is having the 3d kind of a model and the possibility of identifying the modification and skew of improvement will be higher in a prototyping rather than something just comparing on the paper the next thing is time and cost optimized up every new product is susceptible to modification in the later stage you have the rapid prototyping which we already talked rapid prototyping the throw away kind of a prototype jo humne baat kari thi this will help you to save the money as you are involving in the single prototype you are not first manufacturing the whole lot you have a rapid prototyping you have a primary level kind of the thing developed to you you tested it you verified it so whatever errors you have it is just uh, costing you low so that the final product that comes up is not the one pata chala bina prototype kare hue aapne pura lot bana diya it is having lot of error it means it is a complete sheer wastage of resources and your money now you have the customization facility aapke paas bahut sare tools hain cad is one which provide you a wide range of facility the prototype in various shapes without even changing the component various forms economic uh, your industrial feasibility they all can be done with the help of your cad software then you talk about the communication a physical model definitely a better way so with the help of the 3d model it's a better way to communicate 3d model ab aap kya kar sakte ho end user ke paas ja rahe hai so usko kya ho raha hai usko better way mein samajh aa raha hai ki koi jo medical product hai ya aapka oximeter hai aapne ek idea oximeter ka agar paper aur pen pe diya hota ya wahi aapne ek chote model se oximeter ko एक्सप्लेन करा है डेफिनेटली इट इज फार बेटर देन रेगुलेटली कंप्लाइंसेस जो भी आपने प्रोटोटाइपिंग बनाया है आप उसको क्या कर सकते हो डिफरेंट रेगुलेटरी अथॉरिटीज को दे सकते हो टू अंडरस्टैंड वेदर इट वॉयलेट्स एनी ऑफ द रूल और नॉट और वेदर इट फिट इन टू ऑल दम्प्लाइंसेज एंड देन फाइनली इफ ऑल थिंग्स गोज फाइन यू कैन गो टू वर्ड्स दी पेटेंट ऑफ वट एवर मेडिकल डिवाइस यू हैव डन I'll again show you one of the scenario for the medical concept only. Like uh, there is there if you can see there is one problem statement is here. You uh, this is uh, from some old data that I have taken when this particular device was developed. Uh, the uh, problem here it says that there are around three hundred seventy million people. Maybe currently in twenty twenty two the number is still more as this is the old data. so because of hypertension heart disease uh, then uh, malnutrition pregnancy hypertension kidney and many others somewhere around 317 million people in india they suffer from proteinuria at some point of time now in order to have a test uh, for it or in order to understand the current situation 
a person again has to go to a lab, get himself tested, and then in a day or so, the report was going to come. So the instant solution from this was Santiago, a device which is from uh, the cutting edge company, right? This is again a startup. They understand the problem in the market and they devise the solution for it, right? And this, uh, the, this first kind of smart point of care diagnostic device for estimation of protein in urine. And the accuracy of this particular device is 95% and the results comes in two to three seconds. Again, it is not a strip based. It has two-way data logging. A smartphone application is there. And the cost of it, it is somewhere around 150 to 650 per test that it is generated. So now when, a when it was designed, you can see we again started from a, a very rough sketch, you know, where a low fidelity kind of thing was developed. And again, it was a based on the concept of rapid prototyping. So this was the first proof of concept. Then have a look. This was the circuitry within this. And this was the second version of the prototype. As I said, you should never be satisfied on the first prototype. You have to evolve. Then let us have a look at the third version, fourth version, sixth version. And then this is the final version of the product. And from this, this is far ahead. So you don't have to always think that how will I come up with a device? You have to have some idea. Then you need to work on that idea, work on a paper or just uh, maybe a 3D kind of a thing. You can go for app, you can have your designs. So what is important to have an idea, implement it, have a prototype and get yourself into the business, become the entrepreneurs. Similarly, uh, so prototyping, you should have the objectives here, analyze the customer requirement, look for the solution, look for the alternatives existing in the market, study the best one, try to evolve on that. And then finally, maybe you end up something like a nice wristband or the cuff bands for the analysis. Similarly, the prototyping I'm trying to show you, this is the oximeter that you have. This oximeter or the health rate meter again started from a simple kind of a circuit. This is just a tool which is helping you to understand the functionality. So not in the first go, this is not the thing. So you don't have to give an excuse to innovate or to have a prototype. You have, the, you have to come up with an idea. Similarly, this is for the BP meter. This is how the BP meter came into the existence. Then you have the aqua chain, the sugar meters. So every product they just started with the prototyping, right? Then again, the vaccine, which we all are being really proud of and we all are vaccinated today, the co-vaccine. Agar India ne kuch initiative nahi liya hota, the companies like Bharat Infotech and all, they would have not come forward. Then we would be struggling like maybe the other countries. So you have to explore the market, you have to keep an eye on the market, look for the solution, innovate, and then finally, you have to look for the design, and then finally, we should have what to have a prototype, evaluate our prototype, work on the feedback, negative feedback, so you said back, no, work on it, then move towards the final product. So in, when we say prototype, prototype, we cannot jump directly to it, you need to have an idea. You need to look for the design. You have to have the entire design thinking process. Then you have to have a prototype, multiple prototypes, proof of concept. And then what we have is the final product into the existence. So this is all I have to say from my side. If any one of you have... Uh, any Thank you, ma'am. So, Thank you, ma'am, for this session. If anyone has any doubt or question, they can ask their question one by one. If anyone has doubt or any thoughts regarding this, they can keep it. I hope.
hope I am able to give some information to you and able to do justice to the session. So you are not audible. Asim sir, I think you are on mute. Hello, hello. Yeah, yeah, so Hello. you are very much on Ma'am, I think that everyone has uh, fully benefited from this program today. Uh, and for this, I again express my gratitude to uh, the honorable speaker, uh, you and the listeners of this program. Now I invite, I want to invite Ms. Anjali, uh, Anjali Khulbe, BSc nursing third year student uh, to vote of thanks, to deliver a vote of thanks, Ms. Anjali. Please. Thanks, Asim, for giving me this wonderful opportunity. I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to all the people who participated in today's very beneficial and effective program. I express my gratitude to IIC Chairman Tirthankar Mahavi University, IIC President Tirthankar Mahavi College of Nursing, and all IIC members who are often taking steps to build skills and innovative India through this wonderful types of programs. I'm deeply grateful to our guest lecturer, Dr. Dipali Kamthani Ma'am, who gave some golden moments of her valuable and precious time to us. I'm grateful to Mr. Javin J. Singh, sir, who coordinated this program very nicely. I'm also grateful to Mr. Mohit, sir, for his contribution to welcome our chief guest. And I express my deep gratitude to Master Singh for running this program very systematically. And I would like especially like to thank all the uh, college faculty members and students with my classmates who made this program a success with their disciplined commitment. At the end, I once again express my gratitude to all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anjali, for a vote of thanks. Ma'am, with your permission, uh, today's program, I want to conclude this program. Now, okay, with your permission. Yes, thank you, sir. Thank you once again, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. And thank you to you all who participated.